Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel with me, Matilda, obviously. Before we get into the video, don't forget to follow me on my socials, especially Instagram, because I'm most active on my Instagram. I kind of recently, you know, started shout-outing myself on my social medias, but it actually, like, it helps, so I'm going to keep doing it. But anyways, today we're actually going to talk about something that I've gotten a lot of requests about and the questions, and it's what the hormones do. As you all know, I'm transgender, I'm talking about it all the time, because I know that a lot of people that watch my videos aren't, you know, transgender. So I'm actually trying to, you know, educate everyone and show you the process, being very transparent with you, and um, yeah, telling you guys how it is. And as I said, I've received a lot of questions about the hormones and its effects because as you all know I'm on estrogen and I will be on estrogen for the entire time of my life since my body can't produce estrogen by itself I gotta you know take in estrogen. I have these like gels that I put on my thighs. Before I had pills, however, the pills aren't actually good for your liver, so if you're on pills, you gotta like change to gels because it's basically more healthy. Since I went from male to female, I'm on estrogen, the female hormone. Before I was on testosterone blockers because, you know, I had testosterone in my body. But since I've undergone SRS, gender reassignment surgery, I don't need testosterone blockers anymore since my body don't, you know, produce testosterone. <laughs> obviously. So now I'm only on estrogen and a lot of people ask me like how does your body change when you're on estrogen and does it change much or do you need surgery you know for my facial features or anything else. So I'm actually going to talk a lot about everything that goes with hormone replacement therapy so I'm going to talk about how my body changed and how long it takes and you know so on so let's get into it. I started going on hormones when I was around 18 I think so I was in the middle of puberty however when I started going on testosterone blockers and estrogen like my puberty just stopped obviously because my body didn't produce testosterone anymore however my body changed direction because you know I started going into puberty but you know a female puberty and that's how it goes so the first thing that happened was that my height just stopped like it stopped immediately because I'm 174 and I was still growing because I was you know 18 and it just stopped like the moment I started going on to testosterone blockers and estrogen, my body just shut it off. <laughs> like, I st stopped, you know, growing. And that's just because, you know, females don't grow as tall as men. So that's the first thing that happened. The next thing that happened was the fat and the muscles on my body. Three months into my hormone replacement therapy, I started to be a lot weaker. Like, my arms and, you know, the muscles on my body were just kind of like disappearing. I know that sounds like freakishly weird and scary, but that's not, it wasn't, like that's what I wanted. But you know, the muscles on my body started to disappear and the fat on my body started to move around. Since girls has a higher fat percentage like on their body, I started growing more fat and it wasn't that I was gaining weight, I was actually losing weight because I was, you know, losing muscles. And as we all know, muscles weigh more than fat. It wasn't that I was gaining weight, it was more like the fat distribution on my body, it just kind of like moved around. So the first thing that happened was that my hips were getting wider and also like my face started changing. It got more round. Women has a lot more fat in the face basically, so I was getting a more rounded shape in my face. So my eyes kind of changed and it's kind of hard to explain what changes but like everything on your body kind of gets more feminized. I don't really know how to explain it like I can't pinpoint exactly what changed on my body but by every day that passed I looked more and more like my true self. I looked more and more like Matilda but yeah so maybe like three months in my hips started getting wider and I got more you know fat in my face so it was getting you know a rounder a rounder shape 
That's basically what I'm saying. So the biggest thing that hit me was the PMS. When I was a male, my feelings were kind of... It was kind of plain. I didn't have a lot of emotions. I'm not saying that men are cold and don't have feelings. That's not what I'm saying. When I was on testosterone, like when I was a male, you know, I was sad and I was angry. However, like the emotions I got when I started going on estrogen, like I started getting PMS and I'm starting crying over stupid things. Like I dropped my vacuum cleaner and I just started crying like uncontrollably and <laughs> that had never happened to me before. So I was talking to my friends and they said like, you're having PMS, uh, you're PMSing basically. <laughs> And now I'm basically having a lot more emotions like for the good and the bad and I'm not saying that women are weaker and are crying all the time that's not what I'm saying because that's not all what I believe I'm just saying the hormones affect us differently but yeah so I was PMSing a lot um, the first few months it got better like as the time progressed but you know I was still like a mess but as the time progressed the fat on my body like moved around a bit I started getting breasts and yeah as the months went by like I started you know being noticeably different I was also having aches and pains like on my hips on my breasts and like on my body total every time I woke up I was kind of like in pain and not like super much if you're watching this video because you're about to go on hormone replacement therapy like it isn't that painful it kind of was just like growth ache like when you're small and you're growing you're kind of having these aches you know in your legs it was kind of like that but more like on my hips and you know so on something that people think changes when you go on hormones is that they believe that your voice changes. They believe that your voice gets higher when you start going on estrogen. That's not the case. When I started going on estrogen, you know, I was in the middle of my male puberty. So you're basically meeting up with a voice coach and they actually like teach you how to speak in a higher pitch. So that's basically what I did. If you go through male puberty, your voice won't get higher when you start going on estrogen. When we're children, we all have a high-pitched voice. However, when males go through puberty, their voice changes. But however, like females' voices don't change as much. So you can't undo what the male puberty did. However, you, you know, you can train to speak in a higher pitch. That's basically what I'm saying. However, when you've been on hormones for about two to three years, everything that can change has changed. So when I had been on hormones for two to three years, you know, my skin were smoother, my face were rounder, I had gotten, you know, breasts, uh, wider hips and, you know, so on. So I couldn't change more than I had. So two to three years into the hormone replacement therapy, you're basically, you know, done. However, I also got a breast augmentation. I didn't really see any difference, you know, in the breast area during this period after my breast augmentation, just because, you know, I had gotten implants, so yeah. But as I said, I've been on hormones for about like seven, eight years, and that's a really long time, but I will keep going on hormones my entire life. I also received some questions like, what happen if I stop going on my hormones? What will happen is that I will actually like go through menopause just because my body doesn't produce testosterone and without the estrogen, like my body will start going into menopause. A little story time. Once the doctor's office didn't renew my prescriptions for my hormones because I was too slow, you know, because I'm lazy and I actually had to go a week without hormones basically and what happened like two days in I was started like crying uncontrollably and then like the next minute I was just like completely dead I was just like nothing <laughs> like nothing and it was such a weird feeling it was really hard time because because once I was started going on hormones again I was just like basically going into PMS so I went from menopause to PMS and it was just like all a mess and really hard and I don't recommend it if you're transgender please be very careful with your prescriptions and with your hormones and don't play around with them because it's very important to have hormones in your body please take care of yourself that's that's just what I'm saying. I think that was everything for this video. But if you have more questions, just comment below. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!